The acting owner of the New York Jets says he'll pay any fines players are subjected to as part of the NFL's new no kneeling policy. Commissioner Roger Goodell announced the new rules yesterday. As you know, players like Colin Kaepernick and then others have chosen to kneel during the national anthem in order to protest racial injustice. So the acting owner, this is so intriguing mm -hmm. with the Jets. The acting owner yeah. is a guy named Christopher Johnson. He's, and I thought like, acting owner, what is that? The brother of the owner is the ambassador. He's to Britain. He's right the ambassador now. to Britain. Yes. Woody for, Johnson. Woody yeah. Johnson works for Donald Trump. He's a big mm -hmm. Trump supporter, yeah, yeah. And mm -hmm. So President Trump, of course, has been very outspoken on yes. this issue. But Christopher Johnson, the acting owner, says he'll support his players. He'll pay their fines. Mm -hmm. If the team decides that they want to be open to protest, then that's what they'll do. Mm -hmm. Right. It's very interesting. I think this is a terrible rule because it doesn't address the problem. It doesn't even consult the players on this larger conversation right. on the social injustice that they're addressing by kneeling. It says, if you don't agree with us, go stay in the locker room. And I think that falls short of doing anything other than maybe making advertisers happy. It sure does. Because the NFL knew they wanted to get this issue out of the spotlight, out of the headlines. And so the, ultimately, this for them is a compromise. What they're saying is, OK, we're not going to have kneeling out on the sidelines, mm -hmm. but if you feel as though you you want to protest, you can do it. We'll just fine you or you have to go into the locker room. So you're yeah. right. They, it doesn't really address the issue, but that's kind of the point of what they wanted to do because their whole idea was we want we don't want to talk about this issue. I don't anymore. know if this makes it go away, though. I think that what you'll be doing now is you'll be looking on the sidelines saying, OK, who's not who's there? In the who's room. in the right. locker room? And this keeps this conversation going. What they mm -hmm. could have done, maybe what they should have done, is have a conversation with the players and say, OK, we want you guys to stand up for the anthem. What's it going to take to get everybody to do that? Do we need to make larger donations to organizations that help with some of the issues that you're talking about? Mm -hmm. What sort of change can we make that you feel like we're moving in the right direction as an organization? And that we can mm -hmm. allow you to use your platform to say whatever you want to say. Right, and then maybe not say, in hey, that we're moment. making we're making mm -hmm. progress yeah. on these things, and you don't have to kneel on the sideline. But there's so much emotion attached to both sides. So people mm -hmm. were adamantly opposed to even having a compromise like this. And right. what's interesting is they. Didn't spell out the details. There's no details on the fines. There's no details on who sure. will pay what. There's no details on what the definition of protest is. So is raising a fist going to be something as well? Yeah. It's the NFL. I mean, they make rules for everything. Sox Most Americans, I think, want to see people stand for the anthem. It's mm -hmm. a I think people don't connect this as a protest thing, even though I, I believe the players are genuine. Mm -hmm. But I think most people feel like it's the anthem. You should stand and show respect and then you know, will those people get what they want? They get, well, at least for now. They do, <laughs> yeah.